Um, my name is Anna Nastasiu, I'm an urban designer and uh, recently I just finished my master's thesis which is based on the same subject that we are discussing today which is the impact of uh, smart ICT on urban life. Um, the whole research it was based on the fact that I was observing myself being so much occupied with the technology and the mobile and the tablet and I was wondering does it really matter where I am, how I walk, where I stand, the environment that I am. So, um, the research started uh, based on different, different academic um, journals and articles. Uh, it was based on observations and then uh, practice on, on an existing project. At the moment, I'm going to present the, the research based on this, on, on this subject. Um, ICT innovation and the arrival of computers mobiles, internet, smartphones and tablets have contributed to the growth of mobile networks and in innovative applications. More and more activities have been miniaturized manu and dematerialized and made us cut loose from fixed locations. Um, Typical activities such as uh, working or surfing or watching TV has been shifted from laptops to, to smartphones and slower, even more recently, to, to tablets. Um, it's quite amazing as Ofcom, the latest report of Ofcom, where it's been reported that the uh, UK appears to be a nation addicted to smartphones and um, they mentioned that in the next two years, 50% of the population would use a smartphone. Um, another amazing um, uh, outcome of the report was uh, how the ownership of tablets and e-readers shifted from 1% or 2% to 10% within one year, from 2011 to 2012. Uh, Partly we have discussed the positives and uh, the, um, the negatives of, um, of the use of ICT. I mean, it brought people closer, um, enhanced professional and personal relationships. It allowed us to conduct easier without daily activities. It gave us more educational opportunities. It allowed us to entertain ourselves and be relaxed. Um, but at the same time, through the, um, the reading and the findings and the observations, uh, it's been uh, noticed that people's memory, attention and reaction time has been reduced. Um, there was this kind of feeling of dependency on, on the media, on the, on, on the tools, a negative um, mood, an addiction, and uh, most importantly, uh, it affected uh, uh, traditional activities such as reading or taking, po uh, taking part in sports or the physical socializing. The actual subject of, of the thesis and the research is it was the, the question that you see on the board, does today's widespread use of ICT and the related behavior of people necessitate a new approach and the design of spaces, and predominantly the open public spaces? Um, I'm going to take you through the trip that I took as an urban designer in order to be able to understand how I should be designing and what was, should be the elements that I should be looking at. Um, so one of the, um, um, I concentrate myself of trying to understand what type of people use the ICT and how, and how within the public spaces. So the first type of people that are I, they've been, I noticed it was the passerby, it was basically people that pass by a space and just happen to use their, um, their media. Um, the second type of people is the locals, that they will go specifically to a space, they will use it for another reason, the, the area, but at the same time, while they're occupying themselves by having their lands, they will uh, occupy the same time themselves with, uh, with the media. And the third type of people is the true uh, mobiles that they are going to a place to do study or paid work and uh, the change of scenery gives them the opportunity to, be, to focus more to the space. So they actually go to the space to work and study and to do uh, activities uh, related to education. 
And uh, the last type of people is the placemakers that they choose to go to a specific place just to hang around because of the options of, um, of the ICT that they can get hold of. Um, for example, uh, in the Apple Store, where people are going to go to buy the, the tools, by the same time they take part in the workshops. Um, sorry about that. Um, through the observations and reading, um, there, there were a couple of points that uh, they've been observed about how people engage with the physical public space. And it was noticed that ICT users use sparingly populated areas and any socializing and verbal communication exists because of the common of the technology that they use rather than the public realm. Um, usually, users, ICT users, uh, position themselves close to other users with the same tools, and uh, all, uh, some of the times, they avoid any gaze and attention to the surroundings. Um, building elements, such as walls, benches, etc., they are used in order for people to lean or to, to achieve a type of seclusion from the rest of the public. Um, the way that the body is located within a space has been affected because of the use of, of, the, of the tool and the fact that we are, you're trying to balance yourself, you're trying to see around what is happening, you are trying to, to locate yourself. Um, and another element it was that the people seem to be not easy to be approached and quite serious. Um, so it, it's, been, it's been noticed that uh, since 1880s, um, where there was a great uh, time spent for the necessary activities, and slowly through 2000, as Gail um, noticed, um, uh, the necessary activities have been re reduced due to, 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 to the Industrial uh, Revolution and uh, people have more time to, spare for, to spend for themselves and to do other type of activities. Uh, through the, the research, now the, the necessary activities have been even more reduced. Uh, we still do passive and active uh, optional activities, but it kind of felt that with, um, it's a combination of passive, being passive and active and active and passive and doing, being passively active within our space. So I was wondering what is next, that the whole uh, research didn't really feel so optimistic and I said, I was wondering how can I actually do a project uh, that I can still use the ICT so it's part of our life and how can I actually take the, the positive that gives me and reduce the negatives. So I'm just going to present a couple of pro projects and existing uh, or public spaces that use the ICT as the main primary tool to design. And I use them as a case studies for the project as well. <coughs> From more interventions in Bryan Park in New York, where is a very vivid, uh, strong uh, uh, public space with a lot of activities and but at the same time, they just only provided Wi-Fi and movable chairs. So they try to combine both of the elements. We still have a strong public realm. But at the same time, people can move themselves and go and sit somewhere to do their own work. So very small intervention. Uh, the, the, the second example is the interpretation of the digital environment, where a very well Angry Birds game has been translated into real life. And uh, the whole point is a theme activity park. Uh, the idea of this kind of parks, which one of them is getting or oh, got built already south of England. Um, the idea is to be located, in, to be a park that is located close to an urban environment, within an existing urban environment. At the same time, 
make um, kids and parents to exercise. Another example is the QR code uh, at Status in Ottawa, where people can just uh, use their phone and uh, scan and get information about the, the public art they are observing and actually experience the city. Going to a different scale, going to the, the, the building scale, um, where um, uh, this building is actually a digital mark, uh, landmark and it's called uh, Museum of, um, uh, of the Future. It exposes, uh, ex it exhibits the most up-to-date technology, but at the same time the facade of the building is used and the colors are generated based on um, people sending data where this data are read and and um, they are translated with colors or images. An example in London, uh, where we have the, the Google campus, uh, which, is used, which is a space that provides free Wi-Fi and cheap spaces for people to work and share knowledge and uh, experience about um, internet and ICT. Another small intervention, which is um, uh, the Escal Numérique, which is a digital break in central France, in Saint Elysée, where uh, these uh, service stations provide information about the city, and at the same time charging facilities for mobiles and places, a place to rest as well. Um, a final example, uh, a final case study is the Media Facade, which is an international festival which presents media, electronic art, intervention architectural pro projects in public spaces, emphasizing the spatial, interactive, and participatory social experience within the city. Um, it brings together uh, workshops, guided tours, and events, and creates an interactive uh, dialogue between people that are located in different cities. That's it. <laughs>